All right, here we go. Question number one in our college algebra, homework number five in my lab math, wants us to find the domain of the rational expression. And so up here in the right hand corner, I've got the problem written down. Let's talk about how to find the domain. Well, first of all, you need to realize that a rational function is a function that has a fraction with variables in the denominator. And we know that a fraction cannot have a denominator of zero. In other words, you cannot divide by zero. So in order to find the domain, we're first going to have to find the restriction. Okay, here's the restriction. The restriction says whatever the denominator is, it cannot be zero. The denominator cannot be zero. So we're going to set that not equal to zero, and then we're going to solve for x, and then we'll know the numbers that x can't be. Now this is a trinomial. We're going to solve this by factoring. So the uh, signs, if I read the signs, a minus at the back makes them different. x and x give me x squared. And then I'm going to need numbers that multiply to make 35 and subtract to make 2. And I believe that's going to be 5 and 7. And the 7 has to go with the plus because 7 minus 5 is positive 2. And I did need positive 2. All right, so now if I set each one of these factors not equal to 0, and solve for x, then I'll know the numbers that x can't be. So moving the 7 over gives me negative 7. Moving the negative 5 gives me positive 5. And then those are the numbers that x can't be. Okay, so to write the domain in set notation, let's talk about set notation. It will be the set of all x such that x cannot be negative 7 or 5. So what that says, it says x can be anything as long as it's not negative 7 or 5. That is set notation. But I believe the question wants the answer in interval notation. So in order to write this in interval notation, we remember we know that x can be anything except negative 7 and 5. So we're going to say that x can be anything from minus infinity up to negative 7. And then we're going to jump over negative 7 and keep going to 5. And then we're going to jump over 5 and go to infinity. So this, this is the way to say everything except negative 7 and 5 in interval notation. The parentheses here it says not including negative 7 up to negative 7 but not including negative 7 and then up to 5 not including 5 and so let's put that into my lab math and see if that's anywhere close all right negative infinity to negative 7 parenthesis we need the union because the U is the glue that sticks the two pieces together. The U is the glue that sticks the two pieces together. And then everything from 5 to infinity. There you go. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.